Hello everyone, I am Professor Anish Vora and I welcome you all in our new video lecture. In our uh, new video lecture, we have started a series of video lecture for design of synchronous machine. In today's video lecture, we will study about uh, peripheral speed, runaway speed and uh, different types of pole fixing for salient pole. In case of salient pole, we know that uh, poles are projected in the rotor while in cylindrical type rotor poles are not projected. So in case of uh, salient pole, we require different types of pole construction or rather uh, different types of pole fixing. We use uh, different types of pole fixing and that is basically dependent on the peripheral speed. So let us see uh, how we use uh, different types of pole fixing. The very first that is a uh, bolted on pole type construction that is very one of the simplest type of pole construction and for a lower peripheral speed we use a bolted on pole construction that is a 20 to 25 meters per second peripheral speed we use a bolted on pole construction but if peripheral speed is higher and if it is a between 20 to 80 meters per second we use a dough tail type of construction or we use a T head type of construction because if peripheral speed is higher the centrifugal force is generated on the projected pole that will be again much higher so accordingly we have to use uh, this type of construction and uh, in case if uh, peripheral speed is uh, greater than 80 meters per second then we use a special type of construction but for this uh, three types of construction let us see in a figure so this is a diagram for bolted on pole type of construction projected pole is fixed on the outer a rim of the rotor yoke. See here we can see that uh, it is a, a rotor outer periphery and uh, this projected pole is uh, directly riveted or bolted on the outer periphery. Right. So one of the very simplest type of construction and it is known as bolted on pole type of construction. But as I said earlier for 20 to 25 meters per second peripheral speed we use a bolted on pole construction for higher speed we have to go for dough tail type of construction in this type of construction also here see it is a housed or embedded in our outer periphery of the rotor yoke the shape is a like a dough tail and uh, for higher peripheral speed it is used for uh, uh, construction and then we have T head type of construction it is also similar type of uh, construction but the shape which is embedded in the rotor core outer side that is different here we can see observe that uh, the shape is uh, like a T head, inverted T and uh, compared to dough tail this is again more uh, useful for higher speed. So this type of three constructions we use and I said earlier that type of construction we use that purely depend on peripheral speed. So peripheral speed we know that uh, 
it is uh, given by pi multiplied by d and multiplied by ns where d is a rotor diameter and ns that is a rotor speed in rps so peripheral speed depends purely on the diameter of the rotor so while deciding diameter of the rotor we have to keep in mind the restriction for the peripheral speed in case of hydro generator we use a lower peripheral speed because diameter is very high while in case of a turbo generator the peripheral speed is comparatively high because we use lesser diameter and uh, as per peripheral speed now construction of pole fixing in case of salient pole is again decided so peripheral speed is very important parameter and uh, one another parameter based on peripheral speed that is known as a runaway speed that we will discuss later on but selection of pole fixing so type of pole fixing and allowable peripheral speed so bolted on pole type of construction normally we use for uh, 20 to 25 meters per second peripheral speed but uh, here we can see that it is a 50 meters per second that is maximum for maximum peripheral speed we use uh, 50 meters per second up to 50 meters per second we can use or we can go for bolted on pole type of construction while in case of dovetail or T head type of construction we go up to 80 meters per second peripheral speed as uh, again I said as earlier for peripheral speed more than 80 meters per second we have to go for different types of uh, special types of construction so runaway speed as i said that uh, this is also one of the peripheral speed but uh, again it is very important so how we define the peripheral speed so peripheral speed the speed at which the prime mover will run when its rated load is suddenly thrown off let us understand the meaning of uh, this when a prime mover is running at a full rated load its speed its speed may be a steam a water or gas or diesel at the feed is at the maximum and when all of sudden if suddenly all the load is thrown off that prime mover would have raised its speed so with a full feed and with no load there is a tendency that prime mover will race compared to its normal speed and when it is racing without any load and with maximum feed the peripheral speed will be much higher turbo generator the runaway speed that is a maximum or peripheral speed rather during a runaway condition it is a 175 meters per second and for hydro generator it is 140 meters per second while deciding the construction or pole fixing in case of salient pole we have to consider uh, peripheral speed at normal condition as well as peripheral speed during a runaway condition while deciding the type of fixing we use so for a salient pole peripheral speed and the runaway condition is very important peripheral speed is decided by diameter d so while deciding the diameter we have to always take care for the constraint of peripheral speed so 
थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियो कीप वॉचिंग थैंक यू वेरी मच